Hi, hello, and welcome back to Going Under. I, like Jacqueline here, am imaginary as she kind of toys around her on her phone, which is obviously her idle animation. And we're going to get back in here. We're going to try to beat this Joblin dungeon in one attempt. I have some experience. I have actually uh, probably too much experience playing Binding of Isaac. So I think I can do it. And Gungeon. And into the Gungeon. Alright, I'm going to take this pencil. And this ping pong paddle. And for the hell of it, Cactus. Alright, let's find out if there's anything in this box. No, $8. Okay, that works. Ooh, an actual sword. Take that. What is this? Okay. Um, after taking damage, knock down nearby enemies, deal extra damage with junk items. Let's go ahead and take this one. Clap back. See, the first couple rooms are super easy. Honestly, this whole game can be super easy. It was just maybe that one room. Okay, the rolling feature is not as safe as I feel like I keep wanting it to be, so I need to be more careful with the rolling feature. Oh, oh it blew up. I wasn't expecting that. This one's gonna throw something at me. Joblin, new job available. Except, defeat enemies quickly. Oh, I see. Oh. I just barely got five stars, it looks like. Delivery for Jack Welling. Bungie Cube. That and that, the job witch and this awesome hammer. Oh wait, there's actually a store. Cool. Uh no, 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 no. You're buying anything? Loitering isn't permitted here. Nope. Wait. You're buying anything? Loitering isn't per- no, hold on. You buying anything? Loitering isn't permitted here. Aren't you gonna attack me or something? Why would I do that? Seems pretty bad for- no- Hey Peter, seems pretty bad for business. Ah, can never keep that thing down. Chance to on enemies upon entering the room. Gain 10 cubits. I don't know what cubits are. I'm gonna buy that. Ah, oh, okay, hello. Oh, I didn't want that. Oh well. Okay. I need that burrito. What's this? I thought there'd be a boss in here. Now what is that? What's special about this keyboard to the other one? Oh. Oh, there's a boss in here.
Okay, so I guess this is the last room, and now... Thank you for your business. Oh, stay invincible for much longer after being hit. Okay. This game's weird. It definitely has a very binding of or yeah, binding of Isaac and Gungeon feel. Especially now that I see that there's different floors. I wonder how many floors I'm gonna have to go through. Back up to the store. Mm, I don't really think I want anything that you're selling. What is this place anyway? No, no, no. Hey, Peter. Yeah, hey, it's the Jolly Goblin. Hey, hey, huh? It's the Jolly Goblin office, obviously. No, 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 no. Hey, Peter. I can't believe you're accept they're accepting contractors who don't even know the name of the companies these days. Whoa, I do not work here, okay? For one, I'm not a goblin. Hey, Peter. Yeah, right. What else would you be? A human? Yeah, I'm an espresso kid. Maybe that'll set your mind straight. Are you selling espresso? No, you, all, that, all you have is a latte. I'll buy that. I thought that would give me an extra heart. <laughs> that car's gonna explode. Oh, I didn't want to switch rooms yet. Oh, I want that. How do I get that? How do I get that thing off the shelf? There we go. Feed enemies quickly. Oh shit! Oh, I threw it. I got four star instead of my la instead of five star that time. Your order has been delivered. Got another crossbow and a job watch. I'm gonna pick up the new one. I'm gonna swap out this sword because I think it's breaking anyways for this other weapon. That broke with two hits, okay. Electrocute enemies move and attack faster. I'm gonna take that one. I think I just left a burrito behind, but that's fine. I'm not too concerned about it. Oh, the boss is over there. I can already go to the boss, I guess. Oh shit. Uh, my favorite weapon might be the spear and the sword. They seem they just seem like the easiest ones to use. Oh hold on. Oh, hold on. I wanna go to the other room. I guess like it looked like it was a boss room. Oh, this is not a boss room. Oh well well. 
Oh, I see. No, well, well. I see you've made it to my humble garage. No offense, man, but I think everyone's kind of over the whole enigmatic shopkeeper thing. Just show me what you're selling so I can get out of here. Ah, a vest, just one you are. And spending cash is all well and good, but do you know what's better than items? Knowledge. <laughs> Knowledge. In fact, I'm far more proud of my vast collection of literature than I could ever be of my vase. Nor my sweet car. But you do, like, sell stuff here, right? In a sense. But the price may be harder than currency. Okay, so I gotta use blood to buy items? Curse of Void Warranty. Sure. Tastes better in a bottle. Low chance to heal when you defeat enemy. Watch it go big or go under. What does that mean? I don't know, I'm gonna take that one. All right, so for the next three fights, all of my items are knockoffs. Or, or garbage or whatever it was, I can't remember anymore. Deal double damage briefly after being hit. Right, I don't want to waste my other two weapons, so I'm going to just wait until the knockoff thing expires to use any of either of the other two weapons that I have. Oh, okay. Note to self, don't do that again. Be something AOE like that. Okay. Let's find out what this is. Can I use it? Oh, I can. Ooh. This is kind of just a procedurally generated game. I wonder if it's like... 
whether it's more well if it's entirely similar to binding or I think this one over here is the store and I kind of need to go to the store because I think that'll be something that can heal me here right take that and that and that thank you Cool, okay. I wish my fist did more damage. I don't know I'm punching things to death if I could do more damage with my fist. A new job. Defeat enemies quickly. I got you. Oh, holy shit. Oh, but I killed him. <laughs> I killed him because my thing automatically hurt him. Cube every time. And and that. What we got here? Punch above your weight, or let him have it. Let's take punch above your weight. Oh, I can. I think I do more damage now. With my. <laughs> I was just talking about that. How I wanted my fist to do more damage, and now they will. That's amazing. It's not a whole lot of more damage, but it's more damage. Jacqueline. Oh, what did what does it say? Break break hits deal more damage. Okay, so if I break an item, I deal more damage now. How many floors are there, I wonder? This will lead straight into the into a store, which I will probably need to make use of because it looks like I'm about to start a fight, a boss fight. Yeah, definitely about to go into a boss fight. It's him. Oh, he's working. Productivity master here. Productivity perfected. The caffeinator. Oh, the caffeine. He's not actually doing anything. Back up! Oh. He's getting the crowd. This is scripted. Okay. Oh shit. I wasn't ready. Oh, he's throwing the dude. Shit. Okay. Is he about to charge? Is that what he's doing? No. Just... Oh, he's super hyped up now. Oh, shit. Bye, caffeinator. Small-minded 
uncaffeinated human in town. This setback will not stop us. We will eliminate all blockers and complete the job. And after this job, another and another. A job one's work is never done. Do not think that you can derail us with your night. Naivety and lack of hustle. Enjoy your victory, human, and in turn, it will be your last. Boss dismissed. Uh, the mana pass, or mana press, the elixir to prevent exhaustion permanently increases your max health. Oh, they're like weapon crates, essentially, if I'd run out. And turn evaluation. Successfully completed the dungeon. Results. The intern Jackie successfully completed a run on Joblin. Reach the bottom of Joblin and defeat the boss. Skill progress. Clap back 0% to 80. Ingraining toxicity. Mm, you made it all the way this time, didn't you? I knew a satisfied intern when I see one. I sure did. Beat up the boss and everything. You gotta I've gotta admit, you were right, Marv. Making it all the way down there was frustrating, but I can't help but feel proud now that I've finally done it. <laughs> by the way, by the end, I was even having a little fun. But don't get me wrong. I'm glad to be done with the dungeon so I can move on to my real internship. Real internship? Uh, yeah? The real one. The marketing one. The one I applied for. For the field I have a degree in. Oh, that's right. Silly me. It's just, you're so good at killing those monsters, you could have convinced me it was your real job. It's almost, it'll almost be a shame to assign you a boring old marketing position. Anyways, you got the relic, right? The what? Oh, you mean this thing? Yeah, I, I think the boss was guarding it. Oh, splendid. Give it here quickly. Oh, give it here, quickly. It's magnificent. I've only heard rumors whispered in the corners of the entrepreneurship forums. What is it, anyway? I thought my job was just to clear the monsters. Mm, of course, defeating the monsters is important. But now that we have proof of the relic's existence, well, that changes everything. This Jackie is the mana press. The story goes that its arcane caffeine synthesizing powers, or with its arcane caffeine sympathizing synth uh, synthesizing powers, anyway, the employees at Joblin LLC were able to work longer and more efficiently than any of their industry competitors, driving their startup to massive success. If you thought a fizzle beverages was successful now, just wait until you see what our team can accomplish once we install this beauty. Are you sure that's a good idea? The workers down there seem less than healthy. Jackie, Jackie. There goes your closed-mindedness again. You really need to start thinking like an entrepreneur. Just because a startup went downhill eventually doesn't mean they didn't have some great ideas or powerful magic artifacts behind them. There's always lessons to be learned, even from failure. That's not really what I was... Now behold! Wow, I feel kind of tingly. I think you mean productive. And I've got some good news too. When the cleaning crew was sweeping up late last night, they uncovered a new slide to a cryptocurrency startup. And get this, the screams of the undead have been emanating from it all morning. Isn't that fantastic? There's got to be a relic down there. Animated corpses and cryptocurrency. 
Honestly, can't decide which is worse. Hurry up and start working on that next dungeon, and I give you my word. I'll have a chat with AB about getting you on the marketing team straight away. But you told me... Uh, I'll get right on it, sir. Thanks for taking this meeting, everybody. <coughs> Mandatory. <coughs> During today's stand-up, we have the rare pleasure of being joined by the founder of Fizzle himself. The founder. The founder. Give it up for Raymond. Kapow! What's jamming, rock stars? Yay! Yay! That's the kind of good vibe I'm looking for, or I'm talking about. Just Ray is fine, though, remember? We're all buddies here. As you all know, Fizzle Beverages was recently acquired by Cubicle Trademark, the world leader in machine learning and drone shipping operations. Now we have more money than we can possibly spend. This is the end game every entrepreneur dreams of. Shabam! But it'd be a mega, mega waste if we slept on Cubicle super rad tech and didn't integrate it into some super rad projects of our own, right? With that in mind, I'll pass the mic to our very own smart office, Avi. <laughs> Yo, Avi, please tell us about the new product. Hello, friends. It's the weather. Oh, hello, friends. Isn't the weather decent today? After touching over. Oh, I don't know that number. Hold on. Billion. What comes after billion? Is it. Trillion? I think it's trillion. Ten, ten trillion, two hundred billion possibilities. <clears throat> scenarios in my official cubicle model universe. I have determined the most effective. <clears throat> this is a hard voice to keep up, and I don't know if I can do it. I have determined the most effective business decision for Fizzle with a prudence of index. Oh. With a prudence index of over 5.03. Raymond, drum roll, please. Now, mm, okay, I'm gonna. I'm, that voice doesn't work. Announcing, Fizz Go, the Fizzle Companion app, by making use of Cubicle's blending edge user forward data cloud, customers will be able to track their Fizzle consumption, have new flavors recommended to them and share their physical experience to our new built-in social network. Wow. Wow. Sounds like everything I hate. Yo, Avi, please tell me I've got nothing to do with this product. Marv, who's the negative Natalie in the back? That's your lead software engineer, sir. Well, I've got news for you. I'm officially pivoting the entire Fizzle development team to work on FizzGo starting today. That's good news, right? What were you upset about again? Are you kidding me? The whole team? That's completely nuts. Who's going to maintain the website? Or our internal tools? Nuts are for squirrels, baby. I'm sure the programmers will figure it out. With all the hella dope tin, Xers on this team. I'm 200% sure you can crush this without breaking a sweat. Alrighty, everyone. Anyone? Alrighty. Anyone else have any questions? Preferably ones that aren't total bummers. Um. Will this affect the flavors? Of course not, Fern. I know the flavies are your babies, bro. I could never rob you of control over what you're passionate about. Sounds like it's all smooth sailing then. Baboom! I'll distribute some company phones right away so everyone can help beta test the app. It'll be just like a fun group project. You're all the team. 
isn't everything like a group project? That's the spirit, Jackie. Everyone will have their part to play in Fizgo's development, from the engineers who make it to everyone else who gives unsolicited feedback at all hours of the day. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, brother. I knew I picked the right project manager. I'd high five all of you, but I totally tweaked my wrist playing e-tennis. You'll just have to imagine it. That includes today's stand-up, everyone. Don't forget to check the employee's kiosk for your new task. Don't forget to check your butt for my foot, Marv. Ugh. Apps unlocked. Find them throughout the dungeon. Cool. What's this? Oh, it's AV. So this is the smart office everyone's talking about? You don't look so smart to me. What's 63 to the power of 429? What's the capital of Neo Cascadia? Hello? Is this thing even on? Oh, AV won't respond to me. How rude. Alright. I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. Mostly because I am doing awful with these voices. And hopefully I can do better later. Any who's it? Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more. Have a great day.